I've been wondering if when I'm older, a lot of people will try to hurt me or something. Or like if they find out that you were born a girl and they have a problem with it, mm -hmm. you think that they might try to hurt you in some way? Yeah. Were you ever worried about telling me that you were transgender? Yes. Did you ever try to tell me and then change your mind? Mm -hmm. How many times do you think? I think like four times. Four times. I was worried that you liked me as a girl. Because we used to have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Do we still have fun? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really matter if you're a boy or a girl, right? Yeah. I didn't know that you were dealing with that on your own. If I'd known, I would have tried a little bit harder to have that conversation with you and maybe start it myself. Mm. Do you worry about me? I worry about how other people might treat <clears throat> Listening to the radio, uh, NPR, talk about transgendered people. Transgendered people basically kind of like freaks or something <laughs> I don't know talking about transgendered people anyways I got a splitting headache so I want to take me some of these uh, Bayer's extra strength the heavy-duty stuff 500 milligrams Wow that's like hardcore I was just thinking alien grays I'm like my boy J rod at Roswell he's the alleged alien gray that the US government had at Roswell from after the uh, area 51 incident his name was j rod anyways i was thinking about when alien grays if you ever seen a picture or an illustration or perhaps a digital image on a computer or a t television screen a digital image of an alien gray basically you'll notice they have large heads i'm thinking what well, what happens when they get a headache when they get a headache you know their headache's gonna be mondo uber uber mondo headache the size the size of fucking the entire cosmos or some shit, okay? That must be one severe headache. That's what kind of headache I got right now. But I'm not gonna worry too hard about it because <clears throat> I got me some bears. Extra, extra strength. Nothing like some good bears. Alien gray headache. Zedi reticuli alien gray headache. You know that weird man, that occultist, I think his name was Alistair Crowley. He allegedly had communications with some sort of creature that, or entity, creature. That looked like, to me, looked like an alien gray. Back in my uh, earlier days when I read books like that, um, I remember reading that and seeing a picture. And I remember thinking, that person, that creature looks like an alien gray from Zedi Reticuli star system. That's interesting. Not really. Because Alistair Crowley seemed like a psycho, a crazy person. But I'm not worried about that right now, and I'm not trying to make a video about that. I'm just what I'm trying what I'm trying to get at basically is if you get a headache, you take some of these bears, extra strength, wait about 30 minutes, and it's gonna uh, relieve some of that pain. Your headache entirely probably won't go away just with something like this, but it does relieve the pain a little bit. If you know a better drug. Well, normally for my headaches, I take Aleve. Aleve, that's my favorite uh, over-the-counter medicine for headaches. But I done took all my Aleve, so now I'm back down to um, this. Whoa. Bayer, which I think the active ingredient is aspirin. Yes, aspirin. Okay. As you can see, the sun is out. <clears throat> As you know, one of my favorite homeboys, homeboys, 
His name is Nosferatu, okay? He is a vampire. So sometimes when the sun's out, I have sensitive vampire eyes, but I don't cry about it because look, you simply put some of these on, you're good. You're okay. I just thought of a, a design idea, perhaps for uh, just something I can maybe I can draw later. Nosferatu getting some brain or getting his D sucked by Vampirella. Vampirella is a vampire woman. I used to read about her. I think in, I think in a uh, comic book. That's the first time I was introduced or knew about the Vampirella. But basically, she's a beautiful, uh, I think, brunette woman who happens to be a vampire. And I think her and Nosferatu would be very compatible. Maybe Nosferatu, not the most attractive looking vampire, probably has mad sex skills, mad mad uh, sex maneuvers and stuff maybe. I don't know, but I'm sure he can get some, get some uh, oral sex from Vampirella. And that would be a cool thing to draw. But I'm not gonna draw that. <clears throat> And I'm done talking about that. I don't like to talk too much about me media stuff, like movies and comic books and stuff, because it's a little inappropriate and it does make, make me come off as a little bit uh, juvenile or uh, underdeveloped or something. But uh, Nosferatu is pretty, pretty nice. He's pretty, you know, badass or whatever. Anyways, headaches. <clears throat> if you get a headache, an alien gray, uh, the zeta zeta <clears throat> zeta reticuli sized headache. Pop some Aleve. Pop some Bayer's or take some Bayer's. I usually take three to four of them. You're probably only supposed to take two, but no one's perfect and. Who wants to go by the rules all the time okay so I may take three or four but considering the size of my headaches I get sometimes that does seem somewhat reasonable anyways I want to give a shout out to my boy J-Rod at Roswell I hope he's doing good um, I hope they ain't treating him like some guinea pig or some shit now people are they they're funny you know that's why every once in a while I just smack me a person in the mouth maybe a woman maybe a child Smack him right in the fucking mouth, get a little blood dropping, and he's a little blood drop dripping or something. I said, listen, bitch, you just human, and you don't impress me. You need to die for your crimes, okay, for being a bitch, like your father. I'm messing around, I don't talk like that. That's very inappropriate, and J. Rod would, pro would probably not approve of that. But if you do get a Zeta, Zeta reticuli size headache, an alien gray size headache, take the Aleve, take the Bayer. Uh, take some ibuprofen, take some Tylenol or something, and relieve that pressure, relieve that pain, okay? Take care of yourself, keep your health on point, drink your tea, get your electrolytes, get your antioxidants, and keep your body on point, keep it feeling good, okay? Trust your animal instincts and your intuition, okay? Don't be reading all that weird stuff in a hundred thousand different books, like some little freak. Animal instinct, intuition. Your gut feeling, your own mind. You don't need anything else, okay? Keep it in the original box, so to speak, okay? Keep it in the original box. Don't be, don't, don't be, you know what I mean? Keep it in the original box in nice mint condition. Anyways, I want to say good looking out, guys. Good looking out. <clears throat>